dolls welcome back to my channel so this is a very highly requested video so if you want to see how I went from this to this in a very quick tutorial just keep on watching okay so I went ahead and washed and conditioned my hair I washed my hair with the Carol's Daughter Sauté free shampoo I am in love with their entire line of shampoos they are amazing and I went ahead and conditioned my head with the Tresemme moisture conditioner or you can even use touchable softness they both work equally the same but you just want to make sure you're doing this on very clean hair and as you guys can see I decided to use the argan oil type for my eco styler gel the other ones literally do not seem to have the same hold so that is the ones I decided to go with for this video so I really don't have to do too much talking in this part. It's pretty self-explanatory, but as you can see, I'm just gonna be going straight from side to side of my head and just parting it in sections and just really coating my hair in this gel because this is really the key to a very slick down ponytail. And also another key I wanna let you guys know, as you can see, my hair is not wet. Like you don't want your hair to be drenched in water. You don't want it to be wet because once you put it in a ponytail, all of that stuff is going to get onto that scrunchie and it's just going to make a very big mess. Trust me, I've been through this multiple times and you just want to make sure your hair is moderately dry but also kind of damp. So make sure you pay attention to how wet your hair is because that is a key factor. It will be very messy and your hair will not be slick because it's going to take too long to dry. So make sure you pay attention to that tip. But as you can see, this is a very repetitive process, but it's very quick. But all you're really doing is parting your hair from side to side, depending on where your part is, and then coating your hair in the gel and securing it with a scrunchie. And I'm telling you guys, securing it with the scrunchie really prepares your hair for that really slick look. If you don't, then you're gonna be brushing all those curls at last minute, and it's just gonna be a hot mess. So make sure you're really securing as you go and it makes it super easier throughout the entire process so keep that tip in mind it really really helps done with all of that slickness and our hands are filled with gel and we're gonna clean that all up later but I'm securing this ponytail with two scrunchies honey because we want this to be slick okay so on to the next step this is key guys okay so yes the eco styler gel has an amazing hold but for the little flyaways you know we want to really slick that down so we're gonna go in with the gorilla snot the yellow one that's the only one I've ever used and we're just gonna coat our hands in that and just slick down the area that we see right here so you don't have to do this throughout your entire head yes I used to use gorilla snot for my whole head but it's not necessary now just for the top so now to everyone's favorite part and probably the most time consuming part of this entire process, the edges, the baby hairs, whatever you want to call it, this is the time. 
So I'm gonna be using my favorite, favorite, favorite edge control out there, edge booster, guys. The stuff is amazing. It holds for days and I just love it. This probably took the most time. I don't know how long I took on these edges and I didn't even really get them how I wanted to get them, but yeah, that's that, guys. I know I'm not the only one who takes like freaking 30 minutes on my edges, so let's not even go there, so. <laughs> Now onto the most important part of this entire process. You really don't want to skip this step because if you do, everything you did before this was pretty much pointless. So this hair scarf I got from Walmart, it was about $3 and whatever material it is, it really helps soak up the excess gel or like wetness or dampness you did before this. So this really helps. This is key guys, make sure you get this. So for this next step, all you really want to do is make a simple ponytail. It's no big deal. And also, if your hair is a little bit shorter than mine, you can always add some braiding hair just so you have a little more length and dimension to your ponytail. But this is a key step for our next process to make that fake ponytail. But after this, I ain't doing nothing else to my hair tonight. I'm going to let this hair scarf do the work and help mold those waves and soak up any extra moisture. So I'll see you guys in the morning. And now it's the morning. So as you guys can see, this scarf really, really helped. I'm telling you guys, get it. So now we create our ponytail. Now, if you want your ponytail to have a little more length, leave it like this. Do not do the step that I am doing. I did not want my ponytail that long, but I'll be using a deep curly bundle from my hair collection. So if you guys are interested, check out that description box below. But this is a deep curly bundle in 24 inches. And this bundle is specifically only used for ponytails and I've had it for like a year and a half. So all you're really doing is getting bobby pants and securing that bundle around that molded braid that we did yesterday. So that's why that braid is important. And also also, as you guys can see, I only put one bobby pin in my head. Something that you may not want to do if you're doing a little more activity because it's going to slip out. But you want to really put bobby pins in that braid as you wrap around. Something that I didn't do, but I'm telling you guys to do just in case. So once all of that is completed, we're going to grab a small little piece of hair from that ponytail and wrap it around that final track that we did around our braid. And that's just going to help conceal the track just so it looks nice and seamless and no one will even know it's a fake ponytail. So this is really, really important. Make sure you do this. And also I put a little water on it just because I don't want to wrap it around that weft curly. So I just pulled it and made it a little straight just so it looks really nice and concealed. Okay, so now to the fun part. We're gonna be defining these curls and all we're gonna do to define curls is use a little bit of water and conditioner. So I'm gonna go back and use that Tresemme Moisture Rich Conditioner that I use to condition my natural hair with and that's all you guys really need. I get this question so much and even if you guys wanna see a more detailed or video specifically for how to define curls, let me know in the comment section below what you guys wanna see. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my precious time doing this and just defining and crafting those curls how I like and it's super easy. So. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it this day and also in the next few clips, I'm gonna do it on the second day. So make sure you guys see how I do that also. I pretty much got my desired definition on this day. I had school in like 15 minutes, so I really was not trying to drench my hair in water because it's gonna take forever to dry. So I focused mainly on the ends and also left the top fluffy just so it won't look flat because no one wants a flat looking ponytail. So I think this looks amazing. The second day looked even better. And once it dried, it looked amazing. So yeah, guys, make sure you stay tuned for the next clip. I'll show you guys how it looked at night. And also the clip after that, I'll show you guys how it looked on the second day, which was my absolute favorite. And another thing, do not be like me, guys. Make sure you part your um, little ponytail 
put three braids or three twists in it just so you can avoid it from getting tangled and matted so don't be like me do not be like me i'll make a video on that also <laughs> So that concludes this video thank you guys so much for watching you guys really wanted to see how i got this style it's super quick simple and easy and probably my favorite style that i've ever done on myself and it's just low maintenance so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys you got to let it go.